Hi guys, um, my name is Hannah Bidakwa. I am doing an oral presentation on What It Takes to Be Number One by Vince Lombardi. Um, it's more so by his son, but um, it's based on his father, Vince Lombardi. Um, you guys probably know him as one of the one of the greatest um, coaches out there. I'm not really a football fan, but um, anything on leadership, I I tend to take in. And you know, I was really excited when we were able to pick a book and read on it. Um, so let's get started on the book. Okay, so we had a few weeks to read the book, and I'm just gonna give you a little background: on Vince Lombardi and his son. Um, so everybody knows Vince Lombardi is a football coach. Um, he he was a coach for the NFL for over 10 years. Um, he was loved by many, feared by others, but he was respected by all. Um, he was always first and foremost a winner, and he recognized himself as that. He believed that, and that's what he instilled in his players, and so forth and so on. Um, his unparalleled ability to inspire greatness and mold um, disparate groups of individuals into dominating championship team made Lombardi an icon both on and off the playing field. In what it takes to be number one, the one person who could truly understand Vince Lombardi's unrelenting passion for winning is his son. Um, his son is a renowned writer and professional speaker. And he goes in and he explores the fundamental leadership qualities that his father had, which ultimately led him to success. Um, and he wanted to show other people that anyone can skillfully apply these qualities to achieve breakthrough success in virtually any endeavor in your life, in at work, in school, everyday life. Um, so... He went in on to talk about in the book. In two divisions, he, he separated them in two groups. Um, he divided them up into two groups. The, fundament, the, the foundation of leadership and inspiring others to be great. So in the first few chapters, he talks about foundation of leadership. Um, you know, discipline, it takes form. You know, you have to weed out the un the uncommitted in your team. Sacrifice and self-denial lies behind every great success. Um, you have to work at it. You can't slack. Everybody knows in being a leader, you can't really slack off. Like, if you want to win something or if you want to be a great leader, you have to be that example. If you're lazy, everybody else is going to be lazy. They look up to you. You know, that's what a leader is. A leader is somebody that demonstrates character integrity you know true true meaning of the word leader um you have and you have to be prepared to sacrifice he did you know in the book in chapter five he that was one of the biggest things that he mentioned be prepared to sacrifice in life you know being a leader there, there's always challenges but you got to be ready to take that role with it and be great like you, you know, you don't take a failure as that's it. Or, you know, you have to sacrifice your time. You have to sacrifice sometimes even friends, family. Because when you have an end goal in mind, nothing else matters. Like, you're just all straight and narrow. Like, nothing else matters. And, you know, I encourage people to read this book because it not only encourages you, but it actually shows you that in any aspect of life whether it's sports whether it's everyday life whether it's at work or in school whether even in a team you know a teamwork environment you have to strive for greatness so he goes on and he talks about using you know your toughness to beat setbacks so like I said before, if something happens and you're, you know, you're, something happens and you're not given or you, you didn't get the end result that you wanted, 
that toughness or that that failure that you know that that pit of pain that you feel when something doesn't go the way you want it that should that should let you or that should make you wanna keep going and set new challenges for yourself um own your habits control your time um being a leader takes time it's being a great leader takes time anybody can be a leader but are you the right leader do you do you do you are you self knowledging yourself like are you learning things on your own are you are you encouraging yourself like are you encouraging others you want to you in order to be a great leader it all starts with yourself um you have to look within first make sure your your team you and you're striving for yourself to be great before you can strive for others to be great within themselves um in the book he talked about it's all about winning you know, and that's, and obviously he's a football coach. So, you know, he, everything was geared towards a football life. So, you know, winning and LeBron saw the importance of winning in every game and in life. He couldn't accept defeat as final. He was single-minded in winning his game. So when the Green Bay Packers would lose a game, Vince Lombardi would take that failure, take that loss and push them 10 times harder. So, you know, and it's not because he just wanted to win, but he wants them to know that if you fail, you get up, you pick yourself up, and you work hard to make sure that the next game you don't fail. And, you know, he pushed them. People all want to be a part of a winning team. That's, you know, nobody wants to be a loser. Um, they want to be associated with success and victories. You need to desire to win and outplay the, the competition and not fall into the trap of mediocrity. You know, a lot of times things happen in life and we just give up. But you don't want to fall in that. Don't fall in that lifestyle. Don't don't fall into that trap of life. You know, if something if something is not going right or, you know, desire doesn't, doesn't really go the way you want it to, that shouldn't stop you. Um, being a leader is being able to pick yourself up every time you fall and you keep going with your head held high because after, in every disappointment, there's a blessing. And every, you know, in every challenge, there is a solution. Um, so, you know, he goes on to talk more and more about basically about being a leader to others, letting them know that hard work is success, that equals success. Um, you know, he he saw the importance of teamwork. You know, being a leader, you have to be able to be in a team. You have to be able to bring in differences, bring in, you know, different div diverse backgrounds and being able to blend that and make a successful winning team. Just like in the groups that we had for our assignment in week five, we all probably didn't even get to see each other's faces. You know, we all talked via email or, you know, Facebook, however we communicated. But being in a team, you know, where you don't really need, you don't necessarily know the other person's background, but you're able to blend and you guys are able to to create a winning team. That's the, That's what's essential. And that's what Lombardi was trying to portray in the book. Lombardi Jr. was trying to portray in the book about his father. He was able to blend different cultures. Because, you know, back then when Vince Lombardi was a coach, there was a lot of controversy. You know, there there was a lot of things going on in, in that era. So he was able to blend that. You know, the person next to you is not always going to, is not going to, believe in the same things you do or have your same ideas. But if you can hear him out and, and he can hear he or she can hear you out, that's what a leader is. A leader is able to listen to everybody's point of view and, and blend it into one. So in order to succeed, you need to be able to fully have your team behind you, supporting you. And not only do they want to see them themselves succeed, but they want to see you succeed. Um, you need to be able to emphasize the importance of a teamwork, you know, within the team and build an organization that has good team culture. 
leadership is based on truth and character. That was the biggest thing in the book. Truth is truth and character. Sorry. Leadership is based on truth and character. Um, there must be truth in, in the purpose and willpower in the character. Um, you know, that, that sounds self-explanatory, but it, it was, it was a quote from the book by Vince Lombardi. In order, in order to have true leadership, you have to have character, integrity, and truth. You gotta be honest, not only with your, the people in your team or in your, at work or wherever you are, you have to be true with them and you have to be true with yourself. If something, if, if you know as a leader, you can't do something, but you know somebody in your team that can, being a leader is being able to accept that and step aside and be able to say, okay, well, he knows what he's doing. Let me let him take the lead on this. That is true leadership because not only did you own your truth, but you had integrity, you know, it, that, that goes in hand in hand. Your character showed that, okay, it's genuine enough to accept that. Your truth was you were honest with yourself and you were honest with your team. That's the good thing. So, you know, and, and I wanted to refer back to the self-assessment um, part of the book. It kind of related to the, I don't know, if you, the, the article in our course workbook um, by O'Shea and uh, Duggan. So, self-assessment. Um, it takes stock of our own personal strengths and shortcomings. So in leadership development, um, talent, so it's strategically by, strategically by O'Shea and Duggan. Um, evaluation of a leader's, leader's development affects, affects, helps organizations, helps teams um, clarify the, the, the impact that they have and where they need but they need improvement. Any leader should be open to criticism. Vince Lombardi was open to it. Barack Obama is open to it. Even even our teachers, even even our, our you know our directors. If you, you work, well, you know your managers. Being a leader is being able to be open to these things. And if you're able, to, if you're open to these things, you know that shows that shows genuinely. That shows you know, integrity, I'm trying to look for the word, but it's not, it's not integrity, <laughs> but it does, I mean, it shows a lot, um, so, I wanted to point out some things, now, building yourself can always, you can improve on something you don't understand, you have to build your character, B character is not inherited, it's something that can be and need to be built and disciplined so to be a to be a leader you have to earn your stripes Vince Lombardi said to, in order to be in order to lead you need to earn your 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 stripes you have to manifest them by your character and your integrity and then you'll get results no leader however long can continue until they win battles the battle decides all Hmm, that's a good quote. So, a leader, a leader can lead forever, but if you win nothing, if at the end of the day nothing successful comes of your leadership, then you're not a leader at all. I like that. You guys should really read this book. It's really good. Um, leaders are not born. Leaders grow out of self knowledge, character, and integrity, competent, and a comprehensive vision. When these building blocks are in place, the leader can lead. So, Vince Lombardi said you need to have these things in order to be a leader. You need to have character, self-knowledge, integrity, competence, and a comprehensive vision. So, you need to be able to to incorporate all those things into being a leader. Isn't that great? Like, it, it's awesome. So, to be a leader, 
The first step is self-knowledge. So we're going to look into that. So self-knowledge. Self-knowledge is, is not what we comprehend in this world or in this life, but it's who we are. So we're not trying to understand the world. We don't need to understand the world, but we need to have self-knowledge about ourselves. Know your strengths. Know your weaknesses. Know where you know your short your shortcomings, and you be able to leap because wherever you fall short, nine times out of ten, somebody you're leading can pick up or know something, or they're good. That could be their strength. So I keep that in mind. Sorry, guys, I wrote all this down. <laughs> um, character and integrity. Character is found. On unchallenging principles, it's your underlying core. Commitments are more important than self-interest. No self-interest is worth self-respect or your reputation. So, your character is your underlying core. So, in leadership, your character is everything. If you have a flawed character, you have no character at all. So, if your character is, it's all about me. It's all about my interests. It's all about my success. About what what it's going to do for me. And you forget about the people you're leading or the people that are looking up to you. Then you you have you have really lost the whole concept of being a leader. Without character, without in integrity, without self knowledge. You you're not you you can't you can't lead, but that just shows that you're not ready to let somebody look up to you. You're not ready for that that role. Like it's 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 not for you. So you have to watch your beliefs because they become your thoughts. Watch your thoughts because they become words. Watch your words because they become actions. Watch your actions because they become your habits. Watch your habits because they become your character and your character is your legacy. Who, what, what you portray. Because, you know, when people first see you, your character is what they get. First impression matters. As a leader, your first impression matters. If Barack Obama had a horrible, flawed character and it, all he was interested in was his self, is, like his interest was for himself, and not for the people of America, of, of th this world, of this country, then he would not have won two terms. He could not. It's it just impossible. Because your character is everything. So this, this book, you know, Lombardi had his own rules. So and and that's how that's how the book goes. Like the book was was broke down into his rules for being number one in football and in life. Football was his work. Football was his life. How he became the leader that he was for football, professional football, for the Green Bay Green Bay Packers. So. He he went on. It's a lot, you guys, but I'm getting there. <laughs> he went on and he developed winning habits. He had passion, total commitment, discipline, and sacrifice. He sacrificed. Character takes sacrifice. The one, the giving up of one thing for the sale of something else. So if my character. Because this is me. I'm a leader. I believe that I am. I take that role. I'm a very selfless person. My character. I'm giving up something. For the sale of another. I am giving up. The image that people. Think that I am. I am this quiet girl. For the sale of. The character that I want people to believe that I am, I am I am determined. I am outspoken. I am very, very, very 
hardworking, and I and and I love my family. So that you know, I I, I give up that character of being silent because for many years I was very quiet. But now, no, I I want people to see me as this 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 girl that she can lead. She could lead. Um, I, I mean, I was leader of many organizations in in high school and in college so I, I had that opportunity to lead and I loved it because I love the feeling of being an influence in somebody's life or changing somebody's way of thinking that was one thing that that attracted me to Lombardi because he took a team that was that was like below I don't I mean they called them losers but he took them from losing almost every game back back in the in, I think it was the 50s or the 60s when he started coaching them and he turned them into one of the most dominating teams in professional football that is what's inspiring that is what makes a leader. That's what impacts people not only on the field but off the field. Because if he can do that on the field, I know he can change lives off the field. And he did. So you guys should definitely read this book. Um, I hope I've outlined it a little bit. You know, I went in depth with it into it for you. Um, I'm I definitely I know reading the book, it'll probably be self-explanatory or you guys probably would have more to say than I did. Um, but this book is awesome. It's amazing. You should definitely read it. Um, it, 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 could, it could change your whole point of view on, on leadership and how even sports can have, you know, they give you a really good background or they really give you a... Um, a layout of what it takes to be a leader and how you implement this in everyday life so be blessed thank you for watching this video and I look forward to listening or seeing all you guys videos bye you guys